and welcome. This is how to link your simple Tix account with your Zoom account. So this is going to help you set up uh, Zoom webinars, and these are these can be paid tickets or they these can be free tickets. But if you're watching this, you probably want to have paid tickets and create a little money on the side. So let's get um, to it. So we're going to get started for free. You're going to want to click this button. Let's give that a minute. You're going to want to fill out your name, email address, the whole nine yards. And, um, come and confirm your email. All right, and create your password. Country United States. If you are out of the United States or if you're international, uh, yeah, just change that when you do. Click I agree to simple text terms and continue. So it's saving, saving. Just give that a minute and don't save. Okay, uh, you're going to need to tell them a little bit about your organization uh, and just keep a few things in order. Ooh, wow, ooh, wow. Um, yeah, 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 don't, yeah, forget that. Um, uh, yeah, so, all right, so we are in New York on the East Coast coast um what type of business uh let's see we have charity causes we got family and education you have government and politics you have health and wellness other their sport fitness uh so we're in the education realm but i'm not seeing it so i'm just gonna pick other i'm just gonna do blue i'm just gonna do uh simple audio or picture audio or let's see audio assistance and it's gonna fill that in with simpleticks.com with uh, your own um that okay so let's just see if i can do this without a cell number Okay, yeah, we do need to provide that. So let's do 301 if I... Okay, so got that there. And we're going to click continue. It's going to save, so let's do its thing for a minute. Okay, so we've got set up a meeting with our customer success team. Okay, we can we can skip that for now. Okay. And now is the best part. We're going to create um, our event. So let's do that now. Uh, so we have an online webinar. Uh, yeah, connect your simple tick site with your zoom account we will automatically create the webinar meetings register new attendees after checkout update your event it's email confirmation to include the zoom details so click connect with zoom um okay and we need to do that yes all right and sign in Okay, and your Zoom account is now connected. Let's just, yeah, don't save. Um, event name, um, let's see. We're gonna have Libre Office Tactics or Beginner's Guide. All right, event category, we're gonna 
let's see if there are options. Okay, we have music, dance, food. We need a class workshop. Okay, and and just be sure to add your description. So description. We will learn the basics of Libre Office and why it's better than. And by the way, this is not a real event. Uh, this is just an example. Okay, so we're going to drop an image here. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got for this? Um, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, and you can just search for an image. Uh, and I'm going to do that right now. All right, let's... Just get that there, LibreOffice, or actually, you know what? Let me just uh, drag and drop uh, something else. So let's just do um, something simple. We've got, keep going. We've got, uh, what could I do? What could I do? Something simple, something simple. All right. Social media for writers, actually. Oh, yeah. And make sure that the image is uh, the proper size. So we have to find something that does work. What works, what works, what works. Okay, Buffalo Bills. No, Daintree Books. Maybe this works. Okay, this is going to work for now. So let's just um, keep that image there. And, and just be sure that your image uh, also describes your event because you want to attract uh, as many people as possible to your event. So let's click next. Okay, and it's processing now. Okay, so here are your two options. You can do a one-time event or you can have a schedule multiple days and times. So let's do uh, multiple and we can just select daily and we've got starting on let's just do today and we'll just end it um we can end it on like the fourth but remember this isn't real this is just an example and we'll go from 12 a.m to yeah 2 a.m or something and we could just add more times and then so on and so forth to that um so yeah you'll yeah so you can still have uh or you could just do uh specific dates as well so you could do that and you can do this and just add your dates on there and to 230 or you could do something like that as well but or if you just want to do the one-time event just select your date uh, click there click there 6 p.m. and and it does automatically fill a time and date so just be sure to adjust that and uh, and it's only on the 30 in the zero hour so just click next all right and save successfully all right when should ticket sales start immediately? Okay, so we want to set the price. So let's just say 1250. Uh, we've got quantity 100. Add your name to this. So let's just go um, Adam. I'm just spitballing here. Paid. Uh, and. Yeah, and just make sure that everything is set to 1250 or you could just put that at zero as well. So yeah, you're going to get a second option pop up, but you just want to keep it at zero and 
and keep how many people you want to go to at 100. So, yeah, so the maximum, from my understanding, is 100 people in a webinar for this. Uh, it could be more, but I'm not certain of that. But let's see. Or what is the total amount of capacity per event? Actually, that's unlimited. I take that back. So just add the amount of people you want to have in this box right here. So, and when should ticket sales start immediately or a scheduled time if you want to like just host uh, it, if you just want to sell at a very specific date, but I'm just going to select immediately. Um, I'm going to click done. Um, okay. And now this is the fun part. You are going to need to add your uh, Square account and click, I'm going to click connect. Okay. And you're going to have to log in from here. Gmail.com. Okay, so it's going to link up to your Square account from here. Okay, and then tickets sold in there. So Square account connected successfully. And we're not going to save that. Um, okay, and then you've got your audio assistance link. So let's bring that up on the browser right now paste and go okay so and then there's your ticket price um also your description is going to be down there when you do have it your date and time is right there um audio assistance uh when you do have your description and dates just make sure you fill them out and give as m much detail as possible um you can share that and you can add this event to your calendar you, Google, Yahoo, Outlook, so on. All right, let's go back to the event. Okay, and then click event, and then you're going to see the amount of tickets to go to. You can click here to edit and short stum summary, and then just adjust that as well, or here. And you can remove the photo, add more, and active and you could also add your sales tax which is really good but um yeah so just save that for now and uh you're gonna be and you're gonna be good from there so until the next training video take care stay safe stay great and i'll talk to you then